I'll tell you a story. This is true. I'm not going to use any names, but I was away and I came back and she told me she had been raped. But she handled the situation of the rape in the most extraordinary way. But my immediate reaction was, I asked, did, they, did she know who it was? No. What color were they? She said it was a black person. I went up and down areas with a cosh, hoping I'd be uh, approached by somebody. I'm ashamed to say that. And I did it for maybe a week, hoping some black bastard would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know, so that I could kill him. And it was out. It took me a week, maybe a week and a half, to kind of go for that. And she said to me, where are you going? I said, I'm just going out for a walk, you know. I said, what's wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. Fine. And it was horrible. Horrible when I think back, but I did that, and I've never admitted that to it. I'm saying it to a journalist, God forbid. Holy shit. It's awful. But I did learn a lesson from it when I eventually thought, what the fuck are you doing, you know? And I come from a society, I grew up in Northern Ireland in the Troubles, and I, you know, I, I knew a couple of guys that died on hunger strike, and I had acquaintances were very caught up in the troubles and I understand that need for revenge but it just leads to more revenge and more killing and more killing and you know Ireland Northern Ireland is proof of that you know all, all the stuff that's happening in the world at the minute the violence is proof of that you know so it's uh, so but that's yeah primal need I, I understand you, you can know? relate to that 